Okay, guys. Welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking. And today I'm having an issue with my um, my APU, and it keeps shutting off. So this is a diagnostic program. I'll put it down in the link below. This is a Thermo King Evolution Tri Pack, as you see on the display there. So this is the Thermo King panel. This first one is your selector knob and your on and off switch. This one's your temperature control. This one's your fan control. So, we push that in. It blinks a little bit. <laughs> that little snowflake right there, that's the air conditioner. The center one that's blinking will be a fan. And then these little squiggly lines are your heat. Some trucks will have a separate uh, heating unit. We used to have Rigmasters and we had like this little dial knob for Webasto. You can turn that knob on. Here are the fans on. Now I'm gonna show you what's going on with this. If I turn that to the left, for the air conditioning. Did you hear it just start it? Turn the fan up a little bit. So outside the APU kicked on. Say hi cat. Yeah, I was asked what the cat's name is. The cat's name is Cat. <laughs> I know. It sounds ridiculous, but cat's name is Cat. When I was a kid, I had a dog named Dog. When I first got this cat from the rescue, her name was Asia. And then one of my friends was calling her Princess. And my ex-boyfriend was calling her Psycho Cat. Um, you know, now it's just cat. She's underneath my feet all the time. Now, I don't know if you can hear. I'm leaving this on. We'll see if you can hear. It's actually, it turned over. It's running. So when I called the shop, what he said was he thought it was going to be a temperature sensor. And that's what all those, um... I read off all the codes and the temperatures and stuff to him, and he said he thought it was a temperature sensor. Woo! <laughs> Shake the cat's tail! Kitty cat. See? She responds to cat. <laughs> See? There I go. Red triangle of death. Yes, I should have gloves on, but I'm just going to show you real fast. This little door pops open, right? So you got the stick right there for your oil. There is your coolant reservoir. Yes, I put coolant in and because I'm a klutz, I spilled it. But, um, you know, see that little switch back there, right there. You want that to be the little line is on, the O is off, so it's on. Something else to do is when you start it up, make sure your that fan is spinning, which it does start up and spin. So that's not the problem. And today I'm having an issue with my um, my APU, and it keeps shutting off. So this is a diagnostic program. I'll put it down in the link below. This is a Thermo King Evolution Tri Pack, as you see on the display there. So 
what I did was I hooked my little cord from the APU controller downloaded this uh, program like I said I'll put it down the link below and it's going supposed to tell me like what the heck all of this means and why is it screwing up and it has different um, selections here if you hook this diagnostics panel up and you get on your um, screen controller not ready it's because you need to turn on the, the APU system so make sure you have it both switched on from the box outside and then also the panel on the inside so that you could get an idea of what's going on here that you see down there it says reading so because it says uh, number of alarms zero so basically I wound up calling both the prime shop and also Thermaking and then they told me which numbers they wanted me to read from the screen and it allowed them to diagnose my uh, APU in with more informed knowledge um, now our trucks if something goes wrong with the truck our shop can dial directly into our truck read the diagnostic codes understand what's going on but that as of yet cannot be done with the APU so right now this is a really cool trick to have that you know you can find out is this something that sometimes it's just a fuse there's three different codes mine said ENG for engine but there's also one that says ALT for alternator so it's the electrical stuff it could be you know the batteries the alternator there's also one that says ACS and I'm gonna be honest with you I didn't bother looking up to see what that is but you could do it <laughs> um, and l let me know down below if you have an APU do you think it's worth it is it worth the time the money the expense could you live without an APU and if you have opti idle on your truck or do you just idle your truck um so uh let me know do you think that apus are worth it would you rather have opti idle please like comment subscribe ring the notification bell and i hope to see you out here truck truck trucking along bye